People can deny it all they want, but everybody knows it's true. Right? It's part of who we are that separates us from animals. OK, so let's talk about this idea now. See, I got big words I'm throwing at you. We've, we talked about SO. What is, what is the acronym SO? What does the S stand for? And, all right, AR15, what does the A stand for? Relative, right. This is like a Pentecostal church. So you've got, you've got four new words you learned. Now we're going to something called ontology, because you're getting smarter, versus epistemology. Now we're going to hit you with something that once you grasp this, you'll know what people are doing to you when you're talking to them. OK? OK. Same thing. All epistemology is doing is trying to figure out how people decide what's true, how they do it. Some people do it by subjective means, which means it's based on their opinion. It's true because that's how I see it. All right, this is epistemology. How did you reach that conclusion? Well, my experience. How did you become a Christian? Let me share my testimony, right? Subjective versus objective. It's based on reality. My opinion doesn't matter. It's what is actually conforms to what's real. No, it means how you arrive at truth, no matter what it is. Um, my wife looks at me and goes, can you help me understand why you always forget to put water in the Keurig? I want to know how you arrived at this truth that you can make your coffee and leave it without water so I have to do it. How did you come to that conclusion that that's OK? Because Cam says it's all right. That's what I told her, right? No. So <laughs> that's, that's, that's epistemology wants to discover how you arrived at your decision for what's true. Julian, this gets back to what you were saying now. Moral epistemology is about how moral claims are formed. How did you do that? Moral ontology, though, is where did it come from? I understand how you came up with this. Where did you get it from? So when you say, as a Christian, um, killing an innocent baby in the womb is morally wrong. It's murder. All right? And they say, how did you get that truth? How did you develop that truth? What would you say? Why are you clinging to that as true? How did you get that? Huh? All right, because I believe it's a human, OK? The next question is ontological. From where did you get your information so that you form that truth? Yeah, so we start with the Bible, but then we have even more. We have science, fetology, that says, son of a gun at conception, that's a human being. So from where did you form it? We actually have logos, we have logic and evidence, and then we have scripture because the Bible clearly says, right? If you turn around on our uh, pro-abortionists and you ask them, how did you come to this truth claim that it's acceptable to kill a baby in the womb? How did you get there? Subjective. Well, this is what I think. Where does that come from? Well, my heart, woman's rights. Um, wait a minute, we got science here. It's ch no, but that doesn't matter. I trump the baby because it's my body. You know, and pretty soon, you're going to get different. Uh, Naomi, don't speak up, OK? You just cut it out. <laughs> All right? I'm a, you're going to be, te hey, I, you're going to be up here teaching here one of these days. You better watch it. So do you see the difference? So here's what's important. Because where they're going to go, they being non-believers, they're going to do this to you. <clears throat> they're going to say, oh, so you're telling me I'm a bad person unless I'm a Christian. You're not saying that. 
back to, to Julian's point, you can be a good guy, you can live a moral life. Right, what we want to know though is, this is what we want to know, you can't tell me where morality comes from. So what you're going to hear, we're going to watch a video here. It's a little longer, but I think you'll love it. It's a debate between an atheist professor at Cambridge and William Lane Craig talking about morality and the ontological argument. And the atheist professor, this Wolpert guy, is going to accuse him of calling him a bad person, Craig calling him an evil person, right? Because that's the ploy they use. Look at what they do to us today. Oh, you think... A baby in the womb is a person? Well, you hate women, right? Yeah, so it's going to always turn into this personal argument rather than looking at it logically. Logic, you know? Again, logic. If I sit here and say, um, if objective moral values and duties don't exist, there's no God. But they do exist. Conclusion is, there's a God. So this is, I was watching the same video. This is with Riley Gaines when she was having that discussion. And the guy, what happens is we think people with a PhD must be authoritative, right? They're, they have ethos. You know, somehow they're smarter than us, so we're going to listen to them. It's a religion. Right. So they sit there and they go, well, it's true by anthropology that there's no such thing. You can't tell the difference between a man and woman years after in their grave. You're on their bones, but you can you can. You can measure femur sizes. You can tell. Uh, well, what do women have that's different than men? Go ahead. <laughs> you're you, you're going to see things different, right? But notice what that argument went, this idea of 100 years from now, bones in a grave. It's like, can we get back to reality today? I'm looking right at you. Um, you can produce eggs and you have ovaries. Um, this person over here has a penis and sperm. Is there a difference between them? Can the guy with the penis and sperm be a woman? Yes. See? <laughs> See? So the obvious things are, are blown away. We don't even talk about them. Like, I've been asked, I, I, I've had these debates, I, you know, what's a woman? I said, well, that's easy. It's an adult girl with ovaries that can produce eggs. I'm sorry, you can't fit a man into that. There's just no way. All right? So, so here, what's important is ontology when it comes to morality, not epistemology. You're not saying to someone, because your moral claims don't make sense to me, that means you must be a bad person. There's something wrong with you. What we're saying is, if you have this moral truth you live by, where did you get it from? What's the origin of it? All right? Now, I also, I get blasted in the Christian community and in the atheist community for how strongly I speak against Darwinian evolution. And we're going to go through that in this class in depth. But you're going to see in a minute that they've, they've latched on moral truths coming from evolutionary history, which has absolutely no basis. Okay? This is important to know this, though. If you can grasp this, then you're always going to ask people, where did you get that moral truth claim from? Where does it come from? and they won't be able to tell you. <laughs>